Still here, boy? Good. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Blair Witch. Last time, we got lost in the woods, found out that we're lost in more ways than one, and found out that uh, this isn't just a missing persons case, that there is a murderer out here somewhere. But probably something more than that if uh, the things we've been seeing in the trees are anything to go by. It's the same, but older. A lot older. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, based on some of what we've found, it seems like time passes strangely here. Marius. I saw that tape over here. Someone left it here for us. It's him. He buried something nearby. Let's find it, buddy. And I bet you can dig it up for us, right? Uh, now it's just going to be a question of where. And another one of these things. Each one is more twisted than the last. Oh, and there's a note here as well. Fear of Forgetting Critters by Todd McKinnon. Oh, wait, we, we heard about this guy before. Theodore McKinnon, my father, was a lumberjack. When I was a child, he would often take me to the sawmill in the Black Hills Forest to tell me stories of the monsters and witches who lived there. I returned to that place after almost 40 years. It looked exactly how I remembered, except for its haunting emptiness. No one was telling the stories of fearsome critters anymore. There was not a single soul to pass the legends on. The logging company disbanded and the old sawmill was left to rot but I could not simply let it be forgotten. Not before it revealed its secrets to me. Not before I learned what drove my father to take his own life. So the legends are piling up, and even with that effigy gone, Bullet's still not happy. It's actually dark enough that we still kind of do need a flashlight. There's so much to look for, and I don't know if this is supposed to be right here. I mean, I don't see a big overturned stone like we should be. But somehow it's almost just as bad when we can actually see the distant silhouettes of the trees in the fog. And that's not the only thing. Dog tag? Where did... No, no, that's impossible. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Happy to do so, huh? Wait. Is there something on the branch over there? Oh, no. For a second I thought it might be like a bloody rag or something. Alright, well, let's pick a direction and go, I guess. Uh... Railways. Looks like this is a maintained trail. I mean, it's not much, but it's something to go on, right? Another candle. Another candle, does that mean another dog tag? No. And actually, I'm pretty sure I recognize that hill. I bet over here we will find... The camp? Yes, that's what I thought. I picked a direction and I never turned that entire time, yet here we are. That is so clever. 
now that I can clearly see that that's actually a mechanic. Actually, I'm pretty sure we walked this way in the beginning. I mean, well, actually, I know we walked this way in the beginning, but you get the idea. We're finding different things in a place we've supposedly already been. This game is actually, like, really, really clever about making you feel turned around. Doing so in a way that's, like, pretty seamless and recognizes that you will be keeping track of landmarks and just changing them around off screen. It knows that most of it has to look exactly the same, but it's got just enough that's recognizable that any small nudge is both instantly noticeable and hard to verify. Oh, up here. I've been walking around for a long time and never seen this place. As long as the rock is upright, we should be good. There we go, and we can get you to search. This looks like the place. Come on, let me pop, buddy. What'd you find? What is that? The Tappy East Creek Timber Company. Seen this logo before. That's where landing was going. That's worth a shot. Maybe we'll finally get some answers. Bloodstained and certainly, certainly bullet. meant to lead us. Take a good long whiff bullet. It's important. That a boy. That's it. Take me to it. Let's go. This way? It took you a second to uh, find your bearings again. I'm pretty sure this was a flowing river only moments ago. Elisha 5, do you copy? Oh, I get it. Elisha 5, this is Monarch, do you copy? What? Who is this? <sighs> what are you doing? Another one? Another dog tag. You know, I've just realized something. This thing convinced us very early on to actually change our frequency to one that nobody else in the search party is using. Even when you're aware of the tropes, you can't help but engage. This is so cool, though, how they're finding a lot of different uses for the handful of tools we're provided. Both in order to aid our progress and as a means to deliver the scares. And look at how this all merges. The deep leaves, no different from the deep sand. Uh-oh. Another encounter. Those look like fires burning over there. Hang on. I know it's not the time. But you seem like you need the comfort. Easy boy. It's gone now. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Okay, run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. What is that? Where are you, boy? Alright, come on. Please stay close to me. I knew it. This is going to be a floor is lava. It doesn't seem to come for you, though. Yes, I know. Uh, thank you for finding the way for me, but I've got to move. Go, 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 go. We can hardly run in here. And for a veteran, we weren't super agile to begin with. Oh no, not now. 
Not with the hedgehogs of death moving beneath. Look. Oh, the forest floor is like writhing. Imagine what that would feel like to run through. Okay, we just gotta go, 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 go. It's like sprinting between cover during a firefight, which I guess is the idea. I wanted to play it safe. In the dark, it would be so much harder to find the way if it weren't for you. This one's not letting up. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, I think they are actively chasing me. For a moment, for just a moment, the sound of incoming artillery sounds a lot like uh, the dog's whines, which almost caused me to pause and completely eat it. Go, 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 go. It's always right when you're at the edge that you feel like they're going to get you. These, these are getting so much farther between. Boy, I'm glad you're so brave, but I don't know if I can make it! What is this? Another another picture. Bard. Oh no. We've just discovered dead Bart. Alright, run. I don't hear them! I hear that? No, don't come to me! Don't come to me! Keep moving! This is probably this character's worst nightmare, imagining imagining Bullet in these situations that he's been through. It's probably the one thing that he finds worse than the prospect of going back. Okay, no, dog, where are you? I didn't even realize we were fighting them! Ow! Where's it? I can't- I can't find you! Dog! You have a real tendency to get under my feet, and it makes it real hard to locate you at the worst of times. You're still detecting something. Alright, are we good now? Are we good now? Somehow crossing through a hollow threshold doesn't feel like a good thing. I mean, superstitiously, in this moment. Right, come on, let's keep going. You still here or what? Um, it's so much harder to tell what I'm doing now. Do I actually need to take cover? I'm not sure. There you are. Okay, good. Nope. Ah, oh, it's quick and sharp. It's like a fly buzzing in your ear. Go, go, go. Ah. Uh, where am I going next? Over here? That should be... That should be it. That's all we need. Ow. No, 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 no. It's so hard to see with these effects on the screen. And the transition is complete. I can't tell where I'm going. Through here? Calm down. Just calm down. No! You're not... No!
getting later again. Things would have been different if you. All this would never. I would never. Seems like we still need you for a little while longer. That's real refreshing to have a character who, like, verbally acknowledges that none of this is real, but how can he not be affected by all this? Alright, let's... just a little bit longer, maybe. Alright, we're good. So that's what it was. We were probably ambushed and had to okay. listen to everyone calling for help on the radio. And I guess, I, I guess we just froze up. All right. Uh, hang on. Wait, how did I? First of all, you're getting pets. Yeah, good dog. And this also to me seems like a treat moment. You know, I kind of like how we very quickly lose sight of why we're even here. Like, when's the last time the narrative even thought about the boy? What's up? Come here, boy. Bullet. You found something. Wait, what does that say? Pre pre premise law? Well, thank you. Huh, we are, really are seeing power lines. And some felled trees. A truck, maybe we're getting close to that lumber mill. That's a whole lot of no man's land. We need to find another way. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I think you're just reacting to what's down there in general. But every time I hear that snarl, I know I gotta I gotta cling to your side. Wait. Is that a railroad track? Let's see where it leads. Well, not that way, that's for sure. Man, this game is absolutely beautiful no matter what time of day it tries to capture. I mean, the way the fog moves between the trees, it's really got, like, the perfect ambiance to it. I mean, it's got its horror moments, its climactic battles and hallucinations, but it also knows that a, a Blair Witch game has to live or die on how much you like the wandering. And I do like the wandering. All right, boy. Well, we're we're following the path for now. Heal. Have you found something? You do seem to be leading me. A rickety wooden train bridge in the middle of the woods. Only good things can await us there. Hang on, that would be an awesome thumbnail. Now let's just check our messages. Another voicemail. You have one new message. Is there something else we don't know? I mean, I had talked at the end of the last part about how, I mean, our character is a career screw-up. Is this just one more thing on the pile, or is it another take on something we already know? Oh, 
Look at all these cans. It's like someone was living down here. Is there something at the end of the bridge? Is this like a reverse Ichabod Crane moment? It very well could be. Rail cart. Like the one we saw before. Oh boy, how do you feel about going for a ride? I mean, this is essentially taking a ride from a stranger at this point, but... What other choice do we have, right? Come on, buddy. A railway motor car, a direction lever, power switch, forward and back, and brake. Okay, so there's forward... Wait. There's our brake, there's forward and back. Wow, every game I play just turns into infra, doesn't it? Oh, but now our flashlight chooses to become useless, huh? Let's just keep an eye out for danger, shall we? And be ready on that break? And also keep an eye out for cheese, eh, Gromit? This is not what was this way before. Hang on, stop at you. And I think there be stuff here. I didn't know there was a locking operation out here. Stop giving up permits in the sixties. This is ancient. Just as ancient as something that was left here today or 50 years ago. Well, there's a light on inside. Locked. Not for long. And a tape. Every time I pick up one of these tapes, I'm filled with fear and curiosity. Is there anything creepier than a tape that goes just a little bit longer than it has any reason to? Alright, well let's back up to here. If we back up to here, the door should be open. That'll be the first thing. Pause. Yes, I know. There we are. And grab some of these notes they left for us, or someone. A whistle, safety valve, pressure gauge. We can actually probably use the tape to light the thing and put it out as well. Gudri, we just got a new delivery. Come to the maintenance shed to pick up the parts you wanted. Robert. Oh, but we do have a map. Maybe there's some spare parts left. Okay, so it looks like we're looking for... Either a shed, or possibly a literal hatch in the ground. 
can. It's a valve, but the handle's missing. Wow, we really are playing infra. But I just love how like dirty and dilapidated and overgrown everything looks. I mean, I'm a broken record on this, but every aspect really captures the spirit well. Hang on. This is foolish, but there's something glowing out there. No, no, that's in the way we're going to be traveling, I think, so... Maybe let's save that? Alright, so according to this, I should have to go out and forward and then make a right which I guess this thing would put us on the right track and probably at far less risk of attack so come on boy we're going for another ride Jump on, boy. well that's an issue we can't wait is there like a switch or something we can use Hadn't ah right there. Okay, let's back this thing up. Unlike infra, this thing will actually let you crash the thing. Heading off in the other direction now. Oh my god. Yep. So we made the right choice. Well, there's the shed, but wow, we really are just Alan Wake light. We need to get this thing going. Yep, that's what I thought. Come on now. Yep, I see it. There's another one right there. And another one, and another. What, you got more? Where you got him, boy? It's so disconcerting when I know they're moving around because you're moving. And our flashlight is doing nothing right now. We might have to go after him because he's not coming for us. Yep. No, come on. There you are. Gotcha. And that's that. I've only just realized that these guys, their presence seems to bring some extra darkness with them. Alright, well, you're getting pets, but at this rate, if I gave you a treat for every monster, we'd be out before the end of the night. You are so good. I would literally be lost without this dog companion, and I think that's what sets it apart from other, like, more gimmicky, similar features. You're connected both personally and by necessity. I'm somewhat shocked to find the power still on, but certainly grateful. Uh, maintenance shed inventory as of June 26th, 1953. Certainly far too early for a tape like that to have been shot. Make an order for more valves. Camp B took the last one for their steam donkey. And now we're out of spares. Well, maybe we can still salvage something from beyond? Looks like we won't be getting in through here. Oh, you give up far too easily. There's something over here. How the hell did they get here? You know, I think it's about time you stop asking why. You gotta get over that real quick as a horror protagonist. Creepy. Sergius. All the same as each other on their own, but the more you find, the more you realize there's just a lot of them. You got something? Actually, wait. Uh, can you seek right now? Look around, boy. Sweet. 
swear I just heard a snarl that wasn't yours. You got nothing? You know what? Fine by me. Oh wait, maybe You seem like you could get in through there. Uh, I gotta do it from here. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, there you go. There's the gauge. It's just like a frisbee. There you are. Now bring me the frisbee. When we're done, I'll even throw it for you. There you are. Good boy. And I want so badly to give you a treat if I hadn't just given you one. Alright, uh, where to next then? Well, I guess further down the path, if that notice to be believed. Oh, look, <laughs> any bit of light will act as a beacon for us. Doesn't even matter if it's a trap, I just don't want to be in the dark anymore. It is absolutely crushing. Alright, well, this thing is just being held still by the brakes, which probably isn't healthy for it, but and neither is a haunted forest. That ain't right. That ain't right. We're back on the other side of the bridge. Uh, well, assuming it's the same bridge. Yeah, I know. You don't want the train ride to end either. Another one? Yep, that's what I thought. Yep! Goodbye! Oh no, there's more than one! Nope! 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 Okay, you guys getting stuck behind trees is a real issue for us. As long as we're here, they shouldn't be able to get us. But I don't know to what extent I'm willing to test that assumption. They're behind the train. There you are. And that's the last of them. I know I don't say it enough, even though I say it all the time, but you are a very, very good dog. These would be extremely difficult enemies were it not for you. And that's covering the tracks, so we're not going to be able to get down this way. I can hear movement all around me. The ambiance in this game is just top-notch. Dog, where'd you go? Oh, you're right under my feet, as always. Can we start you up again? We're not going to be able to start you up again. There's a command to stay close. Heal. Stay very, very close. Like, 90% of the screen is black right now. Psychological report. Illegible. Background summary and reasons for referral. Patient brought in by parents due to extreme panic attacks, insomnia, and sleepwalking after a traumatic experience. I advised three therapeutic sessions per week. During a preliminary interview, I was able to determine the following. The patient actively avoids recalling the event. He experiences vivid nightmares since the event, possible coping mechanism. He exhibits emotional numbness, irrational aggression, and disassociation to the event. Overall, he is very nervous. Possible undiagnosed anxiety neurosis. And that's a drawing of a dead deer. So something happened in our childhood as well. Maybe even something that was our fault. I mean, it would certainly go with the pattern. Bullet, I hope you're continuing to stay close. Gives me the creeps. 
This one's covered in some vines. Maybe the same black ones that we saw on the bigger tree. Crawling under here is going to be slow, which is why I'm not ordering you to seek, but this increased darkness definitely makes me think that these things might be near. And we're literally in an environment made of their flesh, so they kind of have the advantage when it comes to stealth. You know how I always talk about videos coming out darker in the render? I'm gonna have to correct like nobody's ever corrected before if this is to be halfway watchable. And even then, I'm sure YouTube compression will just be the death blow. You know, this game does actually come in the VR variety. And I do own it. I'll probably check it out at some point on the channel. Uh, but I was advised that it has a lot of technical issues. And I didn't want to risk it. Alright, I think we are going to have you seek. You've already got something. Actually, it kind of seems like we've just come all the way back around. What are you doing? Oh, up here. Oh, good job. Well, hello there. But I still can't figure out... Oh, oh we can walk across this fallen pole. Very difficult to see anything when it does the enforced darkness like this. Which makes me all the more certain that something's going to be coming for us in the near future. This one is barely holding up. Let's see if there's anything to salvage. Even one of those valve wheels would be good. Do it. There we go. I think that's everything we need. But there may still be more to find over here. You know, I really do appreciate that this game's not afraid to just be dark. I mean, so many horror developers ruin their mood I'm so sorry. by having a whole bunch of inappropriate ambient lights. Here, if the ambiance permits, there will be some visibility, but otherwise, it is just your flashlight. When I took the camera from that old fool, it was full of senseless chatter, but I saw it. I saw the things it can really do. Through it, I can look into the darkness and see the creatures that lurk there without being seen. Through it, I can see the things that escape my eyes. And through it, I can gaze back into the things I have done. It won't let me forget. So I'm not the only one whose demons are being utilized against him. Now, we have not really been using the night vision mode. And in fact, it's not substantially more useful than the flashlight, from what I can see. Uh, wait, where, where are you, boy? There you are. Wow, this thing has a much wider field of view than my own eyes. Uh, but let's get back to the flashlight view. Eh, I guess it's a little better. You know, I just had a horrifying thought. What if we're walking down these tracks and... They just keep going, and we never get back to that train again. I mean, I can't even see the glow from that generator we started. Wait, but maybe I can. Right up ahead. Boy, you stay close behind. We're gonna book it, okay? Yeah, no, that's the bridge. We are just gonna book it towards the train and get on. Uh, I need to... I think I have to back up in order to switch the rails. I'm not sure, because it's the only direction I can go in reverse. But I've still got to be... i got to be careful. Presumably, this will take us all the way back around, right? Alright, I kind of wish I could tell you to just, like, wait right here. Uh, but I guess the way this works is to prevent bugginess. Switch it. We're taking Ichabod's bridge again, boy. Huh. Uh. 
Jump up, boy. All right, all aboard. Look at the way you just stare off in the in, in the red lights. And to be honest, between the two of us, I feel like you're in the more enviable position. Anything that you see will be chasing after us. Anything I see will be heading dead on. But as I expected, here we are. Take that, Blair Witch. Your devious ways are actually reliable. I can exploit them. And we'll be using this forest for energy production before you know it. Okay, we don't need you for now. Let's just put that on and that on. And where was that fuse needed? I don't remember. Wait, there's something over here. Arcadius. We're starting to see names that are like less and less likely to appear in this setting. And it's kind of starting to make me wonder if, like, this whole concept isn't much, much older than even the folklore surrounding this. I'll tell you what, before we do anything else, let's test the theory that this can be lit via the tape. Which I strongly suspect it can. There we go. And there you are. Warm yourself up while we're at it. And we want to, nope, we want to keep this in the green. And so long as we control that, we should be good. But things are a little bit variable, it seems, so you've got to really keep this on the right track. You just suddenly stopped. And the road's clear. Hop on, buddy. Back on track. Now let's find that bastard. I'm thinking we're looking for none other than Todd McKinnon. All right, let's get out of here. We are heading straight ahead, uh, which means we need to. Well, we need to once again backtrack a bit. Alright, way ahead is clear. All aboard the Ellis Bullet Express. Okay, the Bullet Ellis Express. Yep. Okay, so that's the kind of hitching that can only indicate that something's changed here. We are losing some speed going uphill like this. And that just looks to be the bridge again. That doesn't seem like a good thing, if you asked me. That seems to imply we're doing something wrong, even though the road is clear now. Or maybe it just means now we can finally safely cross the sea that we wanted to before. Uh, we're actually seeing some moonlight cut across the trees, so I guess we've gotten at least a little bit away from that evil place for now. It's so cool to just have a moment of levity like this, a moment where nothing's going to attack us. At least I really hope not. 
And we can actually just take this all in. Come on. Please, please. We really did a lot in just assuming that we were immune. I hate hearing my dog whine while all this stuff goes on around us. And even I'm not sure if this is going to work. But we for sure wouldn't have made it on our own. What was that? Oh no. This would be inopportune. You still here? Good. I mean, this stuff can't be operating well. I mean, given the tracks are under a mountain of leaves, right? Does me shining a light on these things actually do anything, or am I just trying to make myself feel better? Look at them. When you see them moving in the shadows like that, it's like... It's like giant, like, wolf creatures just skittering about in the darkness, waiting to attack. Just a little further. Oh, this looks good. This looks real good. here wow you actually answered me okay wow well, you know usually these s scripted rail segments I find them overdone and not that exciting but that for some reason was something else and I'm gonna have to think about why that is that's our stop buddy all right come here Stay close and keep an eye out, then. We may not be in the thick mounds, but these leaves are still pretty deep. Yeah. Alice? What's going on? Are you okay? I, um... Yeah, no, no, it's nothing. Uh, and everything. Yeah, I, I know I'm not making any sense right now, but that's the thing. Uh, I think I'm starting to lose it, Jess. Hey, I see things, and I don't even know if they're real or not. I, I, I don't know which is worse. God damn it, Ellis. I, I can't do this again. I'm sorry, but I can't. Jess, please. I need you. You need help, Ellis. I tried to be there for you. I really did, but you keep pushing me away. Keep going deeper and deeper. Jess. No, Ellis. I'm sorry, but... I, I won't let you drag me down with you. God damn it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll call you later. You know, I was about to remark on how... how calm you seem about all this until I realized... when you just answer, yeah, I feel like you're kind of just expecting it to be some nonsense on the other end. You're actually one of the more remarkably self-aware protagonists in a game, and... Well, you're coming in here with this mental health history, where even you still don't really believe that all this is happening to you, which can explain some of your behavior. You didn't have to walk right through the middle of that. You really didn't. You got something? Oh, you do have something. I hate when people do that. <laughs> I love how we're still worried about litter. Oh, but look. Our hands have actually gotten kind of scratched up. That's a cool detail. Oh, good boy. And actually, you know what? I do think... You're quite long overdue for a treat. We've still got tons of these things, and... Well, come on. Uh, this game is not that long from what I understand, and... We really need to... 
we really need to get through all these things by the end. You want some boy? There you go. This is it. The place we were looking for. You know, I wonder if there's like a name for that in game design. Irregularities in the soundscape that just play less often than all the other scripted things. Like not a scripted sound, but just a, a piece of the soundscape that is less prevalent. Hang on, boy. There's a lot here, and we've got to take it piece by piece. I know, I know. Another of these things. Which I have no idea what they do. There's lights on in all of these places, though. This presumably is the part of the mill that McKinnon was looking for in the first place. Over. Can anyone hear me? Was that you? Was that a little dog sneeze? That was adorable, but it also scared the crap out of me. Alright, yeah, you have fun. I've got stuff to do. It's old, not abandoned. Someone lives here. Raphael. And a tape. Which will no doubt be critical in understanding what we're doing here. The chase. Another victim? Okay, that's probably how we open that door. What's, what's happening? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm getting all disoriented. What's happening? I mean, we found out a serial killer is living in here. Is this really something we need to concern ourselves with? And the answer is, it's our character. We just can't leave it alone. Even after all this, we're not ready to return yet. He found that hat and he's been riding this high ever since. Won't it? An old typewriter. And a new page. I saw it. Not a witch or a monster, but a man. A man carrying the pelt of a skinned human. He saw me, and now he's coming. Carver. So presumably you're the victim from the video. 3324, so that's probably the combination to something. Should also probably flip it over when I get a chance. And another victim, Barbara. You're wearing a bloober jacket. That's the company who developed this game.
Is that the dog outside? Wait, I can hear, like, squishy walking around. Okay, it is you. Oh, you had me freaked out for a second there, Bullet. Uh, this... Okay, there's got to be some place we can go. A ladder? Something. Whoa, wait, I have an idea. The gate, yes. Okay. Three, three, two, four... Yep, nothing can go wrong here. This is literally a Scooby-Doo set piece. I can actually hear someone. Well, possibly the person dripping blood through the floor, but... All the more reason to be... Cautious. A medical setup? Okay, this is another this is another shenanigan. Jesus. Hey. Hey, can you hear me? The blood's still fresh. Some of those are defense wounds. Multiple cuts, probably a long blade. You don't want to check the dog tags? Badly mutilated. Maybe someone you recognize? We found him. We didn't have a chance. Someone went right into the collarbone. Pulled him in and in his face. So is this wait. Wait, where are we? Are we upstairs or are we someplace else entirely? You've got your own tape. You did shoot him, and it doesn't seem to have made a difference. And this stuff grinds back on. You know, interestingly enough, we're the current owner of this camera, in fact, the third. <laughs> Which leads me to wonder, in the moments that I have been recording, what will, what will the next person who finds this think? More importantly, what will the last images of us be? Okay, so we are actually up here now. Well, actually, you... You burst through that door. But that's not the solution. Uh, we can open it, though. Uh, now the mill... is turning. Uh. Oh my god! No, 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 you don't!
So it's as I suspected, you're like an acolyte. Although I was wrong about who you actually are. Let those men into the ambush, sir. Nine injured, six dead, six grieving widows, nine orphan children, one negligent soldier. He should have been court-martialed. I couldn't stay. Not after that. It wasn't your fault, Ellis. Easy. So easy. Oh, you're so weak. I was weak like you once. See this knife? I remember holding it against my wrist, pressing it deeper and deeper, wanting to end it all, to silence the voices. Weak. Pathetic. I should have listened from the start. That's what set me free. You'll understand soon enough. But you're not. Left. We're back at the camp again. Hey there, sleepyhead. Hey, what do you want? Search the campsite. Something's waiting there for you. I have a bad feeling about this. You know, I kind of wish I'd trained you to be meaner. Maybe we wouldn't be in this situation, but, I mean, he, he says it's her will, so basically he's someone who gave in, who just decided there's no use fighting. Patient in for monthly appointment in relation to his anxiety neurosis. Seems kept in check. Again, no discussion of the woods or his friend. Dissociative amnesia worsening? I admit this patient is starting to concern me. Everyone seems to have moved on, but the fact that he doesn't talk about the woods at all is almost eerie. He's become interested in hiking, hunting, was offered a scholarship out of state, but does not want to leave town. Something is keeping him here, so whatever happened to us, it presumably happened in these woods. And with the way this thing uses, everything that's happened to us against us, the way everything that's happened to us since has fed into each other... I mean, man, maybe we've just been left to marinate all this time. Huh? It's all rotten. But how? Would have taken years for it to get this bad. Come on. It's not that hard to find. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking around. He actually left a lot of things for me to find that weren't here before. Patrick. Another of these. Let me guess, you've gifted me another tape. Anything about 
bastard. Wait, what the hell is this? Something really weird has happened to our display. Hmm. So there's our dog. What do those white spots mean? Maybe it's a breadcrumb trail that we're to follow? idea what to make of this, but it seems to see what it wants us to see. I mean, if we get out of here, this thing is going to sell for a small fortune. What do you mean? Are you talking about those things that you said earlier? About them not being disturbed if you don't if you don't bother them. Is this gonna reveal something else? Because quite notably we can't carry a flashlight and the camera at the same time. Which by the way, rip anybody watching on YouTube. And what a dense fog it is. We can barely see three feet in front of our face. Come in, Ellis. What? Ellis, careful now, Ellis. Your little flashlight won't help you here. Oh, but don't worry. I won't leave you alone out there. I don't need your help. I mean, what was I already doing? Oh, no. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, boy, come on. You, you really need to be quiet now. We can't see these things normally, can we? Nope, no, 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 no. Stay right beneath me. How close can we get? Maybe this is our sign. What the hell? Oh, huh. You know, I appreciate the gesture, but I also recognize the backhandedness of it. I can't see anything on here now. Definitely don't want the flashlight. You're right through there. Presumably on the other side of the rocks. But this is probably a better route. Okay, yes, yes, just... Just, just stay where you are. That's a tank. I wonder if there's enough spare parts in that sawmill to get that working again? It's showing us another tree as well. Yeah, I know. Hang on, wait. I was I was just able to interact. I know, I know it's scary. Come on. I got to be honest. Big part of the reason for knocking those down is that when the dogs come, I'm calm. And that's worth its weight in gold around here. Okay, good. You're still here. 
So that's what you were freaked out, probably even more so than whatever those things are. But they are around still. I think we're just about to be free and clear, though. Yeah, I see that one. It's... Far away though. Dude, you're giving me contradictory orders. What are you, a cop? Alright. Around here, dude, there's like. Slightly to the left. Uh, I can't see anything. We don't want to walk through here. We want to stay to the left. So this thing sees right through everything. God, you're increasing the sense of urgency. Just as I'm more desperate than ever. Okay, we don't have time for this. I'm, just, I'm scanning around every once in a while looking for anything that might be able to help. But besides these odd shafts of light, I'm not seeing much. These aren't shafts of light, they're just giant structures in the fog. I'm basically 100% convinced that that's what this is at this point, that all we are is just a really long brewing pot. We taste so much better with the lifetime of trauma, and we're being led by a being that has all the time in the world to wait. Alright, I can physically see it now. I think we're good. Almost there, All you need is a few the same white tree as always. And you know, the sheriff ended up here as well. Am I to understand that just all roads lead to this thing in the end? I mean, they talk about the tree that they hung her from. Psycho, what the hell is this? This thing bleeds. Don't be silly. Freaks don't bleed. Now look around. Do you see it? What? The trail. Do you see it? I, uh, I think so. Follow it. You little goober. Alright, come on, Bloober Goober. That's your new name. Continue to stay close, please. You know, it's weird. This game is doing a lot of mechanics that have appeared in some form in other games before, and were not nearly as interesting as this. Somehow, it's able to maintain its tension, even during things that in other games would basically be a cutscene. But I'm not seeing any more of those things out here. I don't know if we actually got close enough to find out if they would have a physical form, or if they're entirely invisible except for what's on the camera. <laughs> Can't have seen that coming! Did, did it miss? Question answered. And just like this, we're in the all gillied up of the paranormal. What do you mean I'm being careless? We just need to avoid these things. We just need to avoid these things and follow the trail, but not exactly. Do I still have to keep dodging you? You know I'm seeing something, but you have no way to know. Is that it? Careless, 
Okay, boy, just... Come here, boy! Just keep close. Uh, and that's also a nice touch, how my character knows to keep quiet and so whispers during these scenes. Keep, keep into the trail. We're essentially not even using our own eyes anymore, which is... Well, I don't know if that's wise or not. Dog sees danger everywhere. God, this is some of the densest fog I've ever seen in a video game, and it looks amazing. You know, it's only now that I realize that I am lost in the woods, following a breadcrumb trail. Oh my god. Don't worry. Okay, stay right at my feet, please. I keep seeing things for myself that don't show up on the camera. Every once in a while, we just need to get a glimpse of where we're going instead of just what's directly ahead of us. So this turns to the left, but everything is getting spaced farther and farther out. We gotta make sure that one's lined up before we walk over the previous. That one just... Disappear. I hear I hear the footsteps out there. Tracks in here. I got nothing on camera. But I can see one thing for myself. There's a fire burning at the top of this cliff, but I can't get there. Come on. I keep thinking I see something, but it's just, like, stuff I'm getting close to. Have you found something? Oh, I think you have! If Carver was trying to get me lost out here, it hasn't worked. Ugh. Bullet, don't. Get out of there! I found the stag. It's dead. You don't say. Recreating an image that we know. I mean, yeah, this was in our drawing. There, what now? What? The symbol. I want you to make one. You have the twigs. You have the skin. All that is left is to use them. So hurry up. Ugh, fine. Have it your way. Fucking nutcase. Satisfied? Not quite. There is one more thing. So this one's easy. You've done it before. But first, let the mud sniff the symbol. He'll take you right where you need to go. How? The only scent he'll get is my own. Just do it. This doesn't feel right. Come here, boy. Not afraid of it? Did you really think slap two weights together would be enough? It's not ready yet. Well, at least the fog is lifted a good amount. I can actually see more than two feet in front of my face. And now that we're not in the 
orange haze of the sunset, your collar actually stands out the way it's supposed to, so that's good. And you're not just completely leaving me in the dust anymore, so that's also an improvement. Oh, okay, so that's cool. You know, I am just fresh off of Alan Wake 2. Oh no. I mean, come on, I could totally fit. Not very far, though. Alright, boy, you are getting such a treat if you do this. Go on, boy. Check it out. You could never get me to. What was that? Boy, what was it? Was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, like you're gonna answer. All right, come on. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. I'm sorry to do that. All right. So now what? That is deserving of a treat for sure, but it looks like you're still trying to show me something. Over, I'll make you pay for what you did. I say myself. I despised how weak I was. One tried to fight it. I kept it scratched and bit, but that's all useless. Don't move. What? Again? Just stand still, Ellis. Crouch. Is there a reason, or is this just a game? Yep. You know, that is really interesting. I mean, oh, I guess this is the result of what happens when somebody just stops struggling against whatever's going on here. But then again, the fact that you even have the chance kind of suggests that that was always the plan for you specifically. In the end, everyone is compliant. It's just a matter of what they want with you. It's entirely possible that... Uh, you're no more uh, above the rest. What is it? I don't like the look of this, buddy. Not one bit. So what is it? Another body? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? I mean, you'd have to be real small to fit under there. What? I don't... I, 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 I don't understand. You want me to... to kill myself? I gave you what you wanted all these years. No, no, I'll kill the dog. Bury it. What? No, oh, fuck you, no! Oh, it'll be quick. Think about it, I could've left you a knife. No, I will not kill Bullet! But this... This is where you draw the line, a fucking dog. I should have drawn one long ago. I'm not doing this anymore. Oh, you brought this on yourself. On the boy. Stop hiding behind a child, you coward! <laughs> God damn it! What the? No. That's... Uh, that, 
That's impossible. Bullet, no! Do you recognize that? Where did you go? Bullet? This Bullet? way? No, Bullet? did you get hurt? Bullet! Oh no. Come on, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Come on, boy, I'm coming. Oh god, no, please. Don't move, buddy. Don't move, don't move. Okay, shh, 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 shh. That's gonna be fine. L let me just die. Boy, oh, you're heavy. Someone's been eating too much scraps from the table. Gonna have to take longer walks, buddy. All around the block. I'm not kidding. Good boy. It's okay. It's just... It's gonna be okay. I can't stand listening to this dog cry. Let's go. Oh, we're in like a canyon. Night has fallen again. Alright, let's go. We've got to be reaching like some sort of conclusion, right? I know, buddy. Just a little further. I don't like this one bit. I mean, we didn't even have... With the gun, we didn't even have the choice. But either way, I just feel like now it's... From what they set up, this is punishment for non-compliance. It'll be alright, buddy. I mean, imagine this being, like, this powerless... To help, like, somebody you care about this much. And there's more markings on the rocks up there, kind of like we've been seeing. Oh, this place. It's a loop. I... It's a loop. But I'm still going. Forward, I'm not turning back. Looks like there's some effects starting to appear on our screen the longer we linger. But we've got to do it anyway. Come on. The more, the more you wibble and wobble screen, the more I'm convinced you always this heavy? there's something we can do. Ellis, you stop sounding like you want to give up. God, I, c I cannot stand these sounds you're making, Bullet. But you know what? The second the second I stop hearing them will be a million times worse, so nope, we're still going. Still going. I don't even care if I get a game over screen when this fully overtakes me, we're still going. I guess I do have the option to leave you. Probably as soon as I stop moving. 
That's why I'm not going to. Man, if I could give you every last one of the remaining treats in my bag right now, that's what I'd do. I mean, the woods are watching, right? Let's give them a show for as long as we can. <laughs> it feels like our walk speed is slowing the entire time. Like, the weight becomes more and more in our arms, but... I mean, this is our- this is the only act of defiance we can actually give, right? Something that I have found very motivating anytime, um tempted to do something that would be selfish or just easier is to think about how much I would regret not doing the right thing. About how it'll suck in the moment, but if I just deal with it, like if I can just do it right now, I'll remember it fondly instead of with regret. Or at least without the regret. That's what I'm still pulling for here. That effect is still ramping up. I am still walking. That's how this goes. Let dying... Let dying dogs lie. I only just realize now that it's forming actual words. Like, the longer we go, the more we understand the language of this place. Ellis, this is probably your last shot at redemption, so there is literally no reason to give them what they want. At this point, we've slowed to a crawl. We are hardly moving at all. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Game, come on. No. No, fuck. Fuck! We can't even call out anymore. You won't break me, you hear me? I won't lose to you! Whatever you are. I can hear you. That, that was a... That was your yip. You're out there somewhere. Have you heard what he did? I wonder what'll snap and kill his wife. What what did I do? There's still I mean we've established the pattern, but there's more I don't know. Paul, another bloober employee. You shouldn't trust him. I can hear you crying. It's going to be one of these. My tomb is going to get smaller and smaller. So just... So just do it. Whatever you're going to do, just do it. left from running back and forth, probably the way, probably the pattern of our own thoughts over the years. People either thinking I'm dangerous or a loser or some combination of both. Wait, the camera. Drag us off. 
getting darker as we go too. I, I wonder, are these things that were actually said about me or things that I believed others would say about me? You know, there's a real complexity to this character here where simultaneously he's doing this to uh, absolve himself of like what he sees as like past wrongdoing. But also the whole time he knows that he is here for selfish reasons and that has got to be like its own weight on the pile. Oh. Uh, I'll be honest, I've been automatically running back and forth for so long, this could have been open for a very long time and I wouldn't know it. Well, we're back. And now we don't have a helpful doggo to find our way. Sheriff. God damn it, Ellis. I've been trying to reach you for hours. Anyway, I just wanted to say that we're dropping the search. It's nothing personal. But hey, you left him there to die. It's only fair you die alone out there as well. Goodbye, Ellis. Hurtful. <laughs> oh. That deer is a recurring image now. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh, am I supposed to go somewhere? Yeah, that'll probably be where. Another. Broken again. I couldn't spin that one around. I can't turn any of these. But that looked like the one, the guy we saw on the table. staring at that thinking there's something different about that one and something different indeed Pieces. no Work, damn it. no they're out here and we don't have we don't have bullet anymore come on maybe the camera the camera yes go 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 Straight forward, straight forward, as long as you don't see any red. Oh, come on. Or you could end up against a wall. That could also happen. Not that it much matters. I don't see anything else out here. What do I do? This is the only way we've got to see through our camera. I really like how unclear it is how much time is passing. Like, we, we can get a vague idea by looking at the timestamps on the on the phone calls and messages, but... Like, days must have passed, right? But it feels like only hours. He 
He watched us come in. so disoriented. We can't do anything right now. We can hardly move. Now, oh, come on. Jess? I was it. Jess? Fuck. Weak. Struggling, huh? <laughs> what did you what did you do with the kid? The kid. That's what you're worried about. Stupid little man, I could have slit your throat and wear your skin. Then why don't you? <laughs> You'll have to work for that. You see what you've done? Try as you might, you can only do harm. No. You did this. Me? <laughs> All I did was give you a choice. Chose the dog, and now it's dead. I failed you. I failed you all. <laughs> now you have nothing. Now you are ready. Come. It's time. Jess, I'm so sorry for everything. If only I could. Only? If only I hadn't married you. If only I'd listened. Jess, please. I, I know I messed up. You killed them, Ellis. What? You're a murderer and a coward. No. I'm leaving, Alice. You know what you need to do? Be a man for once. He told us to kill the dog. He told me it would be easy. That I've done it before. Why? I did everything you wanted me to. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Well, it, I. How can I? Well, there's more to be done. And maybe. Look, the the whole point of this thing is to demoralize us, and it's certainly done that. But. Maybe our persistence just now, maybe that bought us something, but we'll have to find out next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.